Today we're gonna talk about how you can finish more music. I'm gonna give you some tips that I use religiously to make sure that I'm making music on a consistent and efficient basis. Stay tuned. Hello everyone and welcome to Distinct Mastering. My name is Freddie. I'm a mastering engineer, producer, DJ, and president of Sleeping Giant Music. For over two decades, I've helped artists grow their careers, and now I'm here to help you with your music production skills. If you'd like a free stereo mastered sample from me, check the link below in my description. Now let's chat about tips and tricks that you can use to finish more music. Number one, you need to practice. Practice makes perfect, and the more you practice making music, the better and faster you're gonna get at making music. So don't overlook number one, because you need to practice making music. Number two, Develop a system. As you practice making more and more music, you'll start to develop a system that you use routinely. As you create new tracks, maybe there's some plugins you use, maybe you start using some templates that'll speed up your process. Developing a system can help organize your workflow and makes you faster and more efficient. Number three, organizing your workflow. As I mentioned before, after you develop a system, maybe you follow the same parameters every time, use some of the same plugins after every track. You'll start to organize your workflow a little bit more. One of the things I like to do for organization is color code all of my tracks. I also like to keep things grouped in certain orders and just organize it in a way that makes me fast when I'm moving up and down or left to right from the session. Organizing your workflow can save you a lot of time and headache down the road. Number four, templates. Don't overlook the value of templates. It doesn't have to be this long drawn out thing, but every time I start a new track, I load up a template that has some pre-built tracks with plugins I commonly use, some common effects, sends and returns, couple things on my master, nothing crazy, but just some basics to get me started, helps speed up my workflow. I always end up putting these things on anyway, so why not start with a template that helps me just get there faster? Templates. Number five, organize your sounds. I can't stress how important this is. If you're always looking for sounds, that can waste your time. Find your favorites, make sure you put them together, tag them, whatever you need to do to create your own palette of sounds. It's like a painter having his own set of colors or a carpenter having his own set of tools. Create your own toolbox. Make sure you organize your sounds, favorite your sounds, and just use your go-tos because that's gonna create the sound that makes you, you. Number six, favorite your presets. If you use a lot of presets, you might wanna start saving those, or if you can put a little star next to them or move them into a user folder. In Ableton, if you're an Ableton user, you can actually drop them in as a rack into the rack section and save them for future use. This way you could recall them easily, you could tweak them if needed, but favoriting your presets just speeds up your workflow. And as you can see, a lot of these are related to each other, but it's all about being organized, efficient, and that's the key to creating faster and faster music and finishing more tracks. And last but not least, number seven, mix as you go. One of the things that I like to do, which helps me get a good rough mix by the end of my first production session, is to just do some basic mixing as I go. As I drop in new tracks, I might drop in an EQ or add my reverbs or just add whatever I need to do that it's gonna help me mix along as I go. Although my ears might be tired after the production session, I don't use that final mix. I'll always go back with clean ears and dial that mix in better. But mixing as I go along helps me speed up my process and I feel like I have less work to do in the end. Usually by the time I get into the studio and leave, I'll have a fully fleshed out song that I didn't have before and mixing as I go helps me get it to a good spot to where I can bounce it and listen to it and then tweak it as needed from there. So number seven, mix as you go. And those are some tips and tricks to help you finish more music. If you have any questions, be sure to shoot me a comment down below. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, be sure to hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, and the bell notification will keep you up to date. Once again, my name is Freddie from Distinct Mastering and have a great day.